Hello, I welcome you all to this wonderful lesson and this question will prepare you for your exam. So I want you to follow me clearly. If you are new to this platform, don't forget to share, don't forget to like, don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms. This is Alison Jezuru Tutor. So the question is saying, the general formula for the nth term of a GP, this is geometric progression, is given by, so this is the formula. Find the common ratio. We are taught to find the common ratio. This is our first question. So first question, we want to find the common ratio. How then can we find the common ratio? For us to find the common ratio, what we need to do, we need to have two terms, like first term and second term, so that we just say second term divided by the first term. So what I'm going to do, let me find the first term. So for me to find the first term, meaning where there is n in this particular formula, I put a 1. So what am I going to have? I'm going to have 256 multiplied by 1 over. Have you seen 1 over? Since there is a 1 there, 1 minus 1, it is 0. So I'm going to have 4 to the power 0. And you, you know that anything less to the power 0, so the first term is equal to what? 56 times 1, that is a 1 over 4 to the power 1 is just 1, which is equal to anything to the power 0 is 1. So there we just have 56. So this is our 56. That is the first term. The first term is what? The first term is 56. We also need to have the second term. How can we find the second term? Where there is n, we just put a 2. So what I'm going to do is a second term is equal to 256 multiplied by 1 over. Since where there is n there, I've put a 2 because I want to find the second term. 2 minus 1, it is 1. So it is 4 to the power 1, which is just 4. So in this case, what I'm going to have, I'm going to say second term is given by what formula? So I say 256, this is what I'm going to do, 256. So I'm going to say 256 over 4 to the power 1 is just 4. 256 times 1, that's uh, 1, that's 256. 4 to the power 1, that is 4. I divide there, 256, 256 divide 4. What is the answer? I'm getting the answer as 64. So this is my what? This is my second term. So the first question, I'm told to find what? I'm told to find the common ratio. How then do we find the common ratio? This is a simple question. So what we are going to do is that I'm, I'm just going to say common ratio. So that is the first part. I say common ratio is equal to second term divided by first term. What is my second term? Second term is 64 over what is my first term? My first term is that one, 256. 256, which is equal to, this is what I'm going to do. So, what I'm going to do, I say, this is what I'm going to do, and this is what uh, you need to understand. I say, 64 into 64, it is 1. 64 into 256, that is 4. So, the answer is 1 over 4. This is our answer. This is our common ratio, 1 over 4. I move now to my next question. My next question, so let's keep the first term. So we know that our first term, our first term is what? 256. That is our first term. We've got our second term. What is our second term? Our second term is 64. We should not throw away this data. We now move on to the second question where we are told to find the fifth term. How can we find the fifth term? For us to find the fifth term, what we are going to do is that we just, in this particular formula, where there is n, we just put a 5 because this information that is given, they have told us that this is the general formula for the nth term. So meaning that where there is n, I put a 5. So 5 is equal to 256 multiplied by 1 over 4 to the power 5 minus 1. So what I'm going to do is this. Fifth term is equal to, so 256 times 1, that is 256. Over, down here, 
This is 4 to the power 4. 5 minus 1, it is 4. So I say 4 to the power 4. What is the answer? The answer is what? The answer is 256. This is the answer I'm going to get. This is the answer. Since this is the answer, this is to tell you that my fifth term is equal to what? Is equal to 1. This is what I'm, I'm going to do. My fifth term is just equal to 1. So it is what? It is 1. That is the answer. So 1 is the answer. I move now to the next one. I move to this one, which is saying the sum of the first. So the sum of the first four terms. So I want to find the sum of the first. So sum of the first four terms. This is how question was supposed to be. The sum of the first four terms. So I want to find the sum of the first four terms. How can I find the sum of the first four terms? The first thing I need to know is the formula to use. Which formula am I going to use on this particular question? The formula that I'm going to use, it is like this. This is the formula I'm going to use. I'm going to say the sum of the n terms is equal to, I say a, then I'm going to start with a 1 because the common ratio is less than 1. So 1 minus r power n like this. Down here, I say 1 minus r. This is the formula I'm going to use. So those of you that are interested in starting tuitions with me, you are free to start. I prepare you for your exams. You are a, an internal candidate, you are a GCE candidate. I'm here to prepare you for your exams. Especially the GCEs, this is the right time for you to start tuitions. We just substitute the data that is given. So we are going to substitute the data that is given. So I'm going to do this. So I put where there is n, I put 5, 4. Because I'm told to find the first four terms. So where there is n, I put a five, a four. I put a four. So four, which is equal to a is the first term. What is the first term? The first term there is two fifty-six. Then I say open bracket one minus what is the common ratio? The common ratio is one over four. To the power what? Power four. I do this cross. Down I say 1 minus 1 over 4, which is equal to 256 multiplied by, what is the answer there in the brackets? You get your calculator. So you are free to use the calculator here. You say 1 minus, open bracket, 1 over 4, cross to the power 4. What will be the answer? The answer, this is the answer that I'm getting. I guess you've seen that answer. So the answer that I'm getting is what? Is uh, 2, 5, 5 over 2, 56. I'm getting that one as the answer. That is the answer I'm getting. I say over. Over what? This one that is there. So what is 1? So this is what I'm 1 minus 1 over 4. So what is the answer? 3 over 4. So I get, I'm getting 3 over 4 there. Where I'm going to proceed and do this. So if I proceed, this is equal to. If I multiply here, this one and that one are going to cancel out. So when you multiply, they are going to do what? They are going to cancel out. Meaning that the answer that we are going to have is just to what? 2, 5, 5. This is division. It changes to multiplication. This is 3 over 4. They are going to swap. It's going to be 4 over 3. This is what I'm going to do. So what I'm saying is that I'm saying 2, 5, 5 times 4. So when I multiply times 4, then I divide by what? 3. So if you multiply by 4. So hope you are able to get this. You are able to see what is happening here. So when I say this is equal to. So if I multiply by 4, 2, 5, 5 times 4, I'm getting 1,000. So I'm getting 1,020. I divide by 3. So I divide by 3. The answer I'm getting is 340. So meaning the answer is what? The answer is 340. This is the answer. You are done. Those of you that are interested in starting lessons with me can call me on my number 0971 066747. Thank you.